If the pastoral industry was Australia's firstborn, then gold was its secondborn. People tend to associate the gold rush with California and the Klondike, but as a matter of fact, the Australian gold rush remains the world's richest. The presence of gold within Australia was known for many years prior to what is generally accepted to have been the onset of the gold rush in 1851. Spanning between 1851 and 1880, the New South Wales gold rush was Australia's first and whose origins centre around a claim shrouded in contention. The title of first discovery of payable gold went to Edward Hargraves, a distinction that carried with it a hefty reward and notoriety. Whilst many letter writers wrote the claims off as a hollow victory. On the 12th of February 1851, Edward Hargraves and his guide, John Lister, set out on horseback with a pan and a rocking cradle to Lewis Ponds Creek, a tributary of the Macquarie River close to Bathurst, making their famed discovery at a location Hargraves would later name Ophir, recalling the moment sharing that once in the creek bed, somehow he felt surrounded by gold. Many people seem to think that Edward Hargraves was nothing more than a front man, a gold rush publicist, as he was noted on uh, one of his archival photos within the National Archives. Edward Hargraves is credited as being the discoverer of payable gold here in Australia, yet many people know differently. So the gold medal, who was first? In addition to the Fish River find, there were many other reported findings before word got out to the rest of the world in 1851. It was known by a select few that gold was also found at Strathlodden in Victoria in 1840, in Hartley in New South Wales in 1844, in Montecute, South Australia in 1846, and Glenmona Station, Victoria near modern day Maryborough in 1849. A convict who found gold near Bathurst in 1823 was rewarded with 150 lashes of the old cat and nine tails because it was believed that he must have stolen it from somewhere. Famed Polish explorer Count Paul Strzelecki is also posited to have found gold in the Australian Alps in 1839 but kept it a secret at the behest of the governor. When Strzelecki published the book Physical Description of New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land in 1845, he omitted all reference to gold in accordance with the promise which he had given to the governor. But his claim to priority and discovery is substantiated by two independent pieces of testimony. First, an enclosure accompanying a dispatch from Sir George Gipps in 1839 included amongst the minerals found in New South Wales, gold an auriferous sulphate of iron, partly decomposed, yielding a very small quantity or proportion of gold, sufficient to attest its presence. Secondly, in a debate in the Legislative Council of New South Wales in 1853 on a proposal to award gratuity to Edward Hargraves on account of his discovery of gold at Bathurst, James MacArthur said that, to his knowledge, Strzelecki in 1839 had exhibited specimens of gold to different gentlemen in Sydney and repeatedly told me in private conversation that an extensive gold field existed in the Bathurst district. Uh, Old James MacArthur always thwarting people's ambitions, eh?